Hi, my name is Father Terry Donahue. I'm a priest of the Companions of the Cross, and I'm stationed at Wayne State University as a chaplain in Detroit, Michigan. I've been interested in the Shroud, uh, I think, ever since I was a teenager, hearing about it maybe in the early 80s from my mom. And I have a science background. I, I studied physics and computer science at MIT. And I've always been fascinated by the intersection between faith and science. You know, how can we demonstrate or from science evidence that would either confirm or disconfirm uh, beliefs that come from, from faith in divine revelation. So the Shroud presents, uh, uh, if it's authentic, an opportunity to, to look at this intersection and you know, kind of do a CSI investigation, if you will, on the death of Jesus. Now, even if it's not authentic, I've been fascinated by just how difficult the Shroud is to explain. Uh, scientists from around the world, uh, hundreds if not thousands, have, have been trying to explain uh, how the image was formed on the Shroud or whether there's blood on the Shroud or uh, kind of probe the, the content of this, this artifact. It's probably one of the most studied artifacts in uh, modern scientific history. So if the Shroud is authentic, it's actually, I think, a, uh, an artifact or a sign for our age. Because it's only in the past 100 years or so that the scientific tools have been uh, made available to actually get at these different questions and that the wealth of information has kind of exploded uh, the data for scientific investigation. Whereas for uh, certainly hundreds of years, the, the shroud was just kind of an interesting faded image on a piece of cloth. But now it's kind of opened up uh, in many different areas of, of textile research, of uh, blood analysis, of spectroscopy uh, analysis from so many different scientific disciplines. So the church's position on the shroud, for those who are uh, Catholic, who, who take uh, the authority of the church and kind of look to the church for, well, is it authentic or not? The church does not take a position on the authenticity of the shroud one way or another, primarily because the question of its authenticity is really a, a scientific or an empirical question. It's not really a matter of faith. Uh, the Catholic faith is not dependent on the shroud being authentic or not being authentic. But the church has said that the image on the shroud of what appears to be a crucified man is certainly fruitful for uh, reflection and kind of meditating on the passion of Jesus Christ because there are so many correlations between what we find on the image and events in the passion of our Lord as depicted in the scriptures. And I think that you could almost do a retreat <laughs> on the meditating on the passion by looking at different aspects and pieces of the shroud, uh, kind of a way of the cross, looking at different uh, events that occurred in the death, the passion and death of, of Jesus Christ. And it also presents, I think, for uh, people of all faiths or no faith at all, uh, a meeting place. Here, here we're at a uh, international shroud conference and we have people from uh, all different faiths, people who have no faith at all, people who are from various scientific backgrounds as well. And it's kind of a meeting place where everyone can put something forward, uh, a hypothesis, data, experimental evidence, and talk with each other about matters of real importance. Because uh, the shroud deals with uh, a man of suffering. It deals with life and death. It deals with um, uh, the content, uh, or it intersects with the life of Jesus Christ, who, uh, if nothing else, uh, was a man who made a mark on human history that has changed the world. I do think that if you could demonstrate, either with a high degree of certainty, that, that this was uh, from the, the first century, and that it kind of you know, was from Jerusalem, and that it was from, you can't prove Jesusosity, you know, definitively. But the more evidence that you could bring that was in favor of the authenticity of the Shroud, it certainly, uh, I think, would help people to come to faith 
uh, because we're in a generation where people are looking for uh, hard evidence, right? So the more actual hard physical evidence that you can bring to the table for the, the historical basis of the Christian faith, then the more uh, people will take Christianity seriously. And, and Christianity does hinge on hist history. Uh, Christianity is not a mere philosophy that is completely detached from questions of historical uh, evidence. Actually, you know, if Jesus did not rise from the dead, then Christianity is, is dead in the water. There's no reason to believe it if uh, Jesus isn't who he says he was. So uh, this is why I value science so much, because although it cannot answer every question, it can answer some questions uh, quite well, uh, those that are on the basis of empirical investigation. So I like having more data, more evidence, <laughs> more, more uh, physical evidence in particular for any particular uh, claim. And the claims of Christianity are, are quite striking and unique.